What is transfer printing? Literally referring to printing a transfer and then applying it to a garment. Now, is all transfer printing the same? No. DTF and white toner are two separate different processes and are fundamentally different. We wanted to go over some of the benefits and highlights of both systems and what they're able to do for your business. Stefan here with All Omega Print Supply. If it's your first time on the channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. If you have any questions on either method or any of the processes involved, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. Drop some thumbs up. Let's dive into it. The age old question that every customer asks, what all do I need? So whether it's direct to film or white toner, essentially you will need a printer of some sort and a heat press. Now as far as direct to film is concerned, basically all you're gonna need aside from your printer and your heat press is gonna be your melting powder and film. Now when it comes to white toner laser transfer printing, all you're gonna need is the correct A sheet for your chosen media you'll be applying onto and then the corresponding B sheet to match up those two perfectly. Now, depending on your chosen media, you may also require a laminator to get those sheets perfectly married. So what can they do? When it comes to direct to film, with a single style of film media, you can apply high resolution, fully detailed graphics onto virtually any fabric you can think of. Cotton, synthetic, nylons, denim, canvas, polyester, and a whole lot more. Metal, ceramic, wood, glass, Basically anything you're able to achieve even contact with using your heat press, you can apply DTF to. One film, one printer, endless possibilities and a single solution. With the different toner configurations available for the white toner laser system and the available different print medias, you'll be able to run the full gamut from textile and apparel printing, brochures and invitations, sublimation transfers, and a wide variety of different hard surface items as well. These will include such as wood, ceramic, glass. Basically, if you have a project in mind between the different toners and print medias available, there's probably a solution for your answer. Now let's compare the workflows of these two different transfer printing options. And when it comes to DTF, you're going to essentially use your chosen printer to prepare your transfers. And while the ink is still wet, you'll have your choice of applying the hot melting powder. Now this can be done by hand, using an auxiliary accessory, or in a full roll-to-roll -roll system with hands-free production. Now after you've applied your melting powder to your wet print, you'll also have your choice of curing. For beginners, many of us started using our heat press to dry the powder to the print. Curing ovens are also a great way to not only increase your efficiency, but keep your other machines available to keep production going. Now in a roll-to-roll -roll system, a conveyor dryer with infrared lamps will be performing the heating for us, drying the transfers completely, and then winding them up for us on a take-up reel. Now as far as white tone is concerned, once your machine prints out your image, it's time to get your heat press ready to marry that A sheet with your graphic to the adhesive B sheet. You're going to place the adhesive B sheet on top of your printed A media and press those together at full temperature for two minutes. After the two minutes is completed, before you separate and peel the two sheets, you're going to want to rub them together with a textile to really seal in that transfer. After that, you're going to perform a low controlled smooth peeling motion and you essentially have a completed white toner laser transfer ready to apply. Now it's worth noting, because there is no roll to roll system with white toner, all of these preparatory steps to make each individual print must be performed every time. Now the great part is both direct to film and white toner laser transfers are available in a wide variety of sizes to suit your individual needs and production volumes. And they're all backed by warranty and lifetime technical support. Now if you have any questions on the differences between direct to film or white toner, or you want to go into further about the different processes or options for either method, go ahead and leave those questions in the comment section down below. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one. My name is Esteban, we are All American Print Supply. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.